Now, I knew this was going to be a great year, but man, it just went up a whole nother notch. Kingdom, we just got acknowledged by Candace Owens. You know, she's someone we admire here, and we've covered a lot that she's, uh, you know, a lot of content that she's put out, and i um, extremely grateful, humbled, and yeah, let's watch it. America, or some black Americans definitely don't like me because I talk about these issues and I want to make black Americans aware of the fact that we have been targeted and brainwashed against our better interests, which is why, despite the fact that I sat down with Joe Budden last week, uh, the entertainer Joe Budden, the media was freaking out about this sit down, going, how dare you do this? And even Joe Budden's uh, fans, they all jumped onto this Twitter space, were asking him, why on earth would you sit down with Candace Owens? She is so bad. Take a listen to what they had to say. I'm showing you a video uh, by a YouTuber that goes by Kingdom Reacts, and he is listening to the audio. That Take is all. And people in the black community do not like a voice like Candace Owens. They claim that she's been disrespectful with her comments throughout the years in regards to the black community. Mm -hmm. And yeah, man, I just totally disagree. We're gonna digest this clip. She recently posted a photo with mm -hmm. Joe Button saying that they have an interview coming up and Joe Button is being grilled by his people um, as to why he would even sit down with her. They don't even know what she's gonna say. They just are upset that at the very least, he sat down with her and had a conversation. They felt like it was disrespectful to the black community. Crazy. I just wanted to ask, bro. Everybody up here crying, I ain't doing all that. You claim to be this um, empath and, and, and you show so much empathy and you have this moral compass to where you don't um, expose yourself to things that you don't want to see. I'm just wondering how, if you claim to have that and claim to be that, and you run around and not let me not say run around because I ain't trying to disrespect you or nothing, but you go and sit with somebody like Candace Owens. I ain't here to talk about no politics. I know you don't give a f about that, but I assume that you give a f about black death. So it then goes on and the person that you're listening to speak says what, what she did to, with George Floyd. I mean, how, how she created an entire documentary and, and he was killed by the police officers. And I'm grateful, by the way, to Kingdom Reacts. I don't know what his name is. I'm just going by his YouTube channel for defending me in this video. And I would like to apologize to that person who feels so offended that Joe Budden sat down with me because how dare I expose to black Americans the fraudulence surrounding the George Floyd case? How dare I expose to black America that Black Lives Matter not only stole, mm -hmm. but used George, George Floyd's unfortunate death to steal millions, money launder them to organizations that have nothing to do with black America, but they also convinced black Americans to riot and to loot their own communities. So that business leaders moved out. We call this the white flight, right? Where nobody wants to police in those neighborhoods. Nobody wants to live in those neighborhoods. Nobody wants to do business in those neighborhoods. Because why would they if they're just going to be rioted and looted? And then black people end up more impoverished. So I, I'm sorry that I know that. I'm sorry that I refuse to kowtow to the Democrat world order that has effectively destroyed black Americans. I'm sorry that I am aware that George Floyd died with enough fentanyl in him to kill a horse. I'm sorry that I saw the full video of George Floyd's arrest. And I know that he was not complying at all and that they had safely put him into the back of the cruiser. He said that he couldn't breathe while he was standing up, okay? While he was sitting up, said he couldn't breathe in the back of the, of the cruiser and then asked to be put on the ground. I am sorry that I went on a fact-searching mission and exposed all of the lies, all of the lies and the media propaganda arm that routinely convinces Black America and all Americans really now that they're all a part of some victim group Maybe we are all part of a victim group. I think we are all, to some extent, being victimized by the media, without question. We're constantly being lied For to sure. and fed lies and anguish so that we never turn around and look at who are the people that are actually controlling us and funding all of these divisions. So, yeah, that's my apology. I'm sorry that I refuse to kowtow and to instead educate myself on all of these issues. And education does not mean reading a headline about somebody and feeling a certain type of way. And I'm sorry too. Unfortunately, given the facts of the situation that actually happened from watching the video myself as well, I can't sit here and succumb to the propaganda anymore either. Now, I gotta acknowledge Candace Owens again, and I wanna say I'm extremely grateful 
and thank you for posting me at a time like this. Uh, everybody who's been following the journey here in the kingdom knows that it's been a little, a little bit of turbulence here over in the channel, but that was a great alley oop, and uh, I couldn't be more. Um, uh, I couldn't express any more. You know, any any. More gratitude. I'm grateful, uh, but yeah, it was a. It's a lot to digest here. It's referring back to the clip, the man who initially heard talking about how could Joe Button go and sit with Candace Owens definitely went on to uh, bring up the George Floyd situation, the George Floyd documentary in particular that Candace Owens made, pretty much insinuating that she's anti-black culture or. Uh, anti-black people I'll say that and uh, I went on obviously to say that I don't feel that way at all I feel like it's the complete opposite I feel like she's somebody who puts it just puts a mirror to us because it takes us to help us and it's not us looking for anybody else to help us uh, you know um, so I think that she definitely puts helps put a mirror to us and provides not only that mirror but genuine real facts not your truth my truth the truth and i think that's important and a lot of people dislike her for that for real but she also brought something to my attention if she don't know my name then a lot of other people don't know my name now my real name i don't mind sharing is randall but the name that i you know go by people call me nickname yada yada it's just king um and yeah so yeah king ha and don't be no hater Oh man, why you call yourself king? Yada yada. <laughs> Don't be no hater now. Back to the point. Candace, man, she's been a voice in so many different ways. She's um she's really shed light on what's really going on behind the curtains of what the propaganda has been telling us we need to believe, what we need to endorse. Money has been given out. Millions of dollars has been given out. Um, with the intentions of it somehow being able to help aid the black community. But unfortunately, that money was used to help aid the people who were raising the money. They were just buying homes, you know what I'm saying? Giving out, paying out security guards, AKA brothers, millions, I believe, um, only not even, I think it was like half a million, over half a million, 600 million, something like that. A lot of money, unnecessary money. You know, and a lot of that money could have been used to actually help the black community. Not one dollar went to the family of George Floyd in no way, shape or form, although his image and his likeness and the situation was used to raise funds. And that's pretty sick. So we got to salute people like Candace Owens for being brave enough to be able to go out here and speak the truth and to everybody we know look dog speaking the truth can cancel can cost you everything dead serious I mean look at your boy they demonetized me I don't even know why still don't know why let me stop though because I'm eligible to get monetized again uh this month we coming up on uh, the second time so that's six months I haven't been able to monetize on the platform but shout out to uh might as go for, you know, helping your boy be able to maintain his bills and things like that. Um, it's been a wonderful partnership. And yeah, Candace, you made my day. Thank you.